Hello. We're going to have story time now. So I'm going to tell you a little story. That way you can, it can help you remember what to do in case of a fire. So a fire marshal comes into your facility and says, what do you do in case of a fire? Well, I'm going to help you with the acronym. So I'm going to tell you a little story. This little person right here, this is Estelle. And Estelle, she got a toaster oven for Christmas from her son. She's not really supposed to have one. So she hides it under her bed. And one night she decides to make some s'mores. It's Christmas time. So she starts a little fire in her room. Smoke's billowing out. She's screaming. You run in. And what's the first thing you're going to do? What does a good CNA do? You're going to R. You're going to rescue Estelle, aren't you? She's in immediate danger from the fire. Now let's put a little fire here. Oh no. All right, so you're gonna R. You're going to rescue Estelle. You're gonna take Estelle out of the room and take her to the closest exit, which happens to be right here. So she goes on out. Now, what's the next thing you're gonna do? Of course. You are going to pull the fire alarm. So, bah, 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 the alarm goes off. A, you are alarming the facility that there is a fire, correct? Now, as soon as you hit this fire alarm, these doors right here are going to close. This wall right here is called a firewall. From the very foundation all the way up to the roof line, there is a wall made out of stone, concrete, cinder blocks, bricks, something that's not flammable. You can even go up into the attic and see this wall. Every door in this wall has to be made out of metal and has to automatically close in case the fire alarm goes off, okay? This helps prevent the fire from moving on forward and spreading. It takes hours to get past a firewall, okay? This is the first part of C, contain the fire. We are keeping this fire through this firewall contained to this hallway, okay? Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna continue to contain. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna close all of these doors. You say, but there's people in there. Yes, there are. But it is going to take time to evacuate all these people. We need their doors closed. It takes at least 20 to 30 minutes for the fire to get past a closed door. Otherwise, there's nothing stopping it. Plus, we've got a lot of smoke going on and we need to keep the people from having all that smoke in their rooms. So you're gonna close the door, which buys you time to what? Evacuate. Now we're gonna evacuate. And there is actually a method to the madness. Who are you going to evacuate first? Well, we're gonna to wanna to get these people out of the way because they're closest to the fire. So this one's gonna to go to the nearest exit. Where's this one gonna go? Well, the nearest exit would be here. But we do not wanna pass across this part of the hallway because if there were to be an explosion, it would blow the door off, singe your hair. And so we're gonna take them the other direction past the firewall, okay? Next person's gonna be across from the fire. And this person does have to go out in the hallway, but that's what you gotta do to the closest exit. This person, and this person, again, goes to the nurse's station. And so on and so forth. So now you know what to do. Fire marshal walks in and says, what do you do in case of a fire? You race. That's your answer. All right, thank you.